Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you use the Max MIDI patch named Tuurul MIDISEC. Let's dive in. I'm going to insert the Wavetable instrument to a MIDI track. Let's put a 4 bar chord progression. Get pretty simple. I'm going to start with C major, then A minor, for example. Let me speed up. At the end, C major, A minor, E minor, D major. How does it sound? Very emotional. Anyway, I'm gonna put the Tural MIDI sec in front of the wavetable instrument. Let's see what we get. I have to fill the sequence box. The green box you see on the left shows that the chord notes played and it is triggered by the place of the orange box. And this MIDI plugin put the notes in the chord from the lowest note to the highest note, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and put them on the relevant line. And I'm gonna add a rhythm, a drum section, in order to follow better the sequence. Maybe it could be better to change a sine wave. A slightly richer wave sound could be fun. A saw wave, for example. Cool. Okay, let's activate the third note. I can change the octaves and the velocities. seems a little bit straight sequence, we can change some parameters to get a syncopated rhythm. I can change uh, the number of the steps. As you can see, the sequence is reset in every 10 bar. I can put a MIDI velocity plugin to get randomness in the sequence. For example, to filter. I can change uh, the duration of the notes uh, in the each line. As a result, all these notes I lined up in the lowest voice to the highest voice and triggered by the sequence according to the selected places in the box. Now I want to show you rhythmic changes by changing all the steps of each line at the same time. You can play with them and get different interesting sequences. Until now, it was about creating a sequence for a single instrument. Now I want to show you how to route each line to different instruments. I'm inserting an instrument rack and a bass instrument. All the lines are still playing for a single instrument. I have to put Max MIDI Receive Patch in front of the instrument. As you know, it is free and it comes with Max 7 Pitch and Time Machines. There is no sound because I have to select B out, which means bus out. Bus number one is used for the bass. Now I am duplicating the instrument and changing the receive bus and the instrument as well. The electric piano is receiving mid data from bus two. 
Again, I'm creating a new instrument by duplicating and set the receive bus to 3. Maybe a mallet type sound is a good choice. Okay, cool. Of course, uh, more complex sequences can be created by adding new notes. The fourth note has no effect. To fix this, I need to change the out pass, for example, to 3. The third and fourth notes are routed to the basic analog instrument. Maybe it will be interesting to try a fixed sound for the fourth line. Okay, I'm not happy with the bass sound. It's very stable, I think. Uh, I'm gonna try to make some tweaks to change the bass sound and modulate the filter with velocity randomization. Finally, I will show you how the order of the notes changes depending on the chord structure. Now I'm pressing the minor. When I'm not pressing the third note, of course the sequence doesn't change. Now I'm pressing A minor, A, C, E. When I lift my finger from note C, which is the second note of the chord, the third note, E, comes to the second line. You can go ahead and keep playing around with these parameters. I'm sure that you will get much better results than me. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. See you next time.